Hi guys and welcome to the next episode. Everybody has sooner or later the task to respect somehow national holidays, right? So there's a cool web service called Naga.date which gives you a hand to solve that issue. Um, let me show you how to use this in .NET, at first with the NuGet and afterwards with a custom HTTP client. So first thing you need to know, since version 1.34.1 .1, you need to buy the dev server github a coffee to get a license key from them. Um, so I show you the same thing here with version 1.33.1 .1 at first and with the HTTP client afterwards which is completely license free at least for the moment so let's start with .NET new console yes so we have a console application great and we need to add the package naga.date and i said we need a version 1.33.1 in this case great up and running. Let's quickly jump into program CS file here. We want to use naga.date. What else? And we need to ask for holidays. So let's take our variable holidays. Quickly jump into the date system, which comes handy with naga.date. What do we need to provide? The year which we are interested in. And the country code in ISO 3166-1 alpha 2. So in this case, if I want to go for holidays in Croatia, we take this HR. Right. So what are we going to do? Let's print the holidays. Each holiday. So console right line. Um, yep, holiday, therefore the date, no bit of string, I would say date and month is sufficient. We only, we already know which year we have asked for, so why displaying it again? Uh, next thing we are going to need is the local name of the holiday. Never forget your semicolon. Okay, clear the screen. And let's see. Hey! Never heard those names of holidays because I'm not a Croatian guy, but it seems like it's working, right? I um, also promised you the version without the nougat, so that's pretty easy, but I prepared it and I will explain what is inside the code example. So let's see. We have um, an HTTP client which goes to their API, which is currently free for use. Um, we read the stream as sync. We have a JSON serialization option, uh, which we said before to property name case insensitive true. That's what we need to set for deserialization purpose. And yeah, we print exactly the same. Um, here I have Germany. Let's set it also to the same thing. And I define the object which I'm going to deserialize in just below. So never do this in production code. It's really just for demonstration purpose. So let's start. You see, we also get back here exactly the same output. We can now do also this just with Germany if we want to. And you see, there's also day, month, and the name of the specific holiday. So that was all that I wanted to show you. Cool API, nice and handy if you have to handle public holidays and you will have to handle public holidays sooner or later even if you don't had to do this in the past you will see thanks for the attention and see you again in the next one